Alrighty, thank you for uh, visiting RF Safe here on this little demonstration. We got a radiation test with the brand new Galaxy Note 5. Now you can see um, we're not even, we we're just picking up uh, the microwave. As you can see, we're on the microwave setting. If we go to electric settings, you can see that the screen, the e-field screen, you can get a, get a reading. But when you go to microwave settings, it's just going to go ahead and cut on right down. Now. Let's go ahead and um, we're going to call the Note 5 real fast. Um, just so that we can go ahead and get a... Um, so we can show you just what this thing is doing. I'm gonna throw this the way out the way out here. Okay. Alrighty, now you're gonna notice a spike even before it rings. Did you see that? Did you see that big spike? Now you can just see how hard that's spiking. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna answer our call. And you can see this thing puts out a lot of radiation. Okay, and that's from the front of the phone. Now remember, this is on the the radio microwave setting, so we're not picking up the electric fields from from that. But now, when we when we think about putting this into a regular case, you know, like here's one that the Samsung you know, sold with the phone. As you can see, it does nothing to the microwaves whatsoever. Okay, all right, this thing is still just cranking out microwaves all the way. I mean, it's pegging the needle right now, and that's with the stock case that comes with it. They charge at 50, but now look how much comes from the rear of the phone. I mean, it just pegs the needle. Now look, um, we're in the process of building the prototype case for it. So here I'm going to bring your attention over here to some RF shielding. Um, now this is the shielding that's inside of our new prototype cases, um, which are actually made out of, uh, but here it is inside of the actual leather, uh, made of a much more soft, flexible rubber. But look, we're going to apply this right now. Um, just to show you just how well this thing blocks the radiation. Um, so I'm just gonna apply some of our peel and shield material right to the front of it. Now, we're gonna go ahead and stick the phone again. Now look at it, now you can just see that it's just pegging the needle. Okay, okay, and there you go. So you can just see it's pegging the needle right there. Now when we close this, you can see that brings it almost down to, no, almost down to nothing. Okay, and now when we go to the back of the phone, look, pegs the needle. So it's this shielding is what actually keeps you safe. Now we're going to have a much cooler designed case, um, more in resembling, you know, this case, which of course we can put into a kickstand view, you know, so you can watch a video, things like that. Now when we want to compare this to like, say, the Note 4, um, let's call up a Note 4 real fast here. I can call, I, here I can call any number. Just, yeah, we'll just wait for the call. But as you can see, the difference, you know, um, here's without the shielding, okay? And you can see, and, and then when we go ahead and shut the shield and put the shielding between us and the device, you know, it mitigates it down to practically nothing now compared to the, the rear of the phone. Now, this is the case you get from Samsung. This thing does nothing to block radiation, okay? But you want this shielding between you and the device at all times. Now, remember from the sides, Okay, still emit radiation, okay, and the back still emits radiation. Our goal is always to keep the front shielded part of the phone between you and the body at all times, okay? Now, um, with the Note 4, we just got to find the case to that. Um, but anyway, you can see the Note 4 also, um, very high, and um, where is that case right there? All right, here we go. All right, so you can see that. All right, that's the front of the phone. Now that these are this, that's the electric. Now look, if we cut the screen off, it goes does nothing. But if I go ahead and turn it on the electromagnetic, as you can see, it just zips right up there. So we're not measuring the E fields; we're measuring the actual microwave radiation. Now we're going to pop this Note 4, um, just like we did the uh, Note 5 in the uh, in front of Savar F Safe Shielding, and you can see from the back of the phone, you know, it pretty just pegs the needle. And then when we go ahead and put that to the front of the phone, just zero, you know, just nothing. So this is the shielding that we that we have between us all the time. Um, it's actually a, a mixture of um, well, it's all a proprietary shielding here at RF Safe that we've actually come up with as the perfect solution for blocking cell phone radiation when it's actually in the close proximity to your body. And if we come over here, you can actually see these are little diode meters that are actually lighting up from just the radiation from the cell phone itself. Now, I mean, you know, this little phone here, um, it's, you know, it's not really putting out a lot at the moment, but, um, you know, these things actually pick up the radiation right from the atmosphere itself. Um, I don't even know if it's actually connected to anything. Yeah, it is actually connected, but oh, there you go. Now you can just see the, you saw this thing, I just pick up the radiation 
you know that's not that doesn't have a battery or anything you're just talking about the radiation and when we look at this picture right here it's not about the people that are old enough to really comment on, on this video you know this is how far this radiation is lighting up this light bulb goes through an adult's head this is how far it goes into a 10 year old's head and this is how deep that radiation travels into a, a five year old's head and when you look at this light right here lighting up you know, I mean, it, just the just the the idea that this light right here, you know, can is lighting a light bulb without any sort of battery whatsoever. Sometimes, anyway, but I mean, it has gone off. You've seen it go off, and just the fact that it does, um, and it penetrates that deep into a child's head, is just uh, it's a nightmare scenario. Any way that you look at it, because that this is who you got to consider your children. And you got to remember that when you want to block microwave radiation, you want to have the shielding between you and that device at all time. And again, here the note. Um, this again, um, you know, brand new, uh, um, you know, Note Five. Um, and uh, as you can see, lowest radiation on the market. But when it's not shielded, it just completely pegs. The